let's do a bit something different today. Let's do a vlog about riding in Houston. <laughs> now, really what we're doing today, there is a big meetup between Dallas and Houston at one of the local cycle gears. Now, if you don't know, I live in the Houston area, but Houston is a massive, massive city. Now, the meetup is about an hour from me, but it's still within the same city limits, which is absolutely insane. So we're gonna ride up to a meet spot for the locals to then ride to the secondary meet spot. Let's ride along and have some fun. We're also playing chicken with the weather today because right now it looks beautiful out. You've got some cloud cover. It's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit and it's a bit muggy, but there is a massive rain cloud coming towards us. Not sure when it's gonna hit, how hard it's gonna hit or what's gonna happen. So I've got my rain gear in the saddlebags and we're gonna just ride through it and see what happens. Today we are on the trusty 2015 versus 650. Man, I love this bike. I've had this bike for three years and I keep thinking I want to sell it. Who knows, I might even go to a dealership today and look at some bikes. But I love this bike. It's so comfortable. It does everything I want it to, everything I need it to. It has not yet let me down, except for when I had stator issues. And I don't know if you've been following the channel for a couple years, that was one of the first videos I really did on this bike was how to replace the stator. It's just such a good bike. I feel like it's often overlooked. There are a lot of people that, like, they just bash on this bike. They're like, oh, it's not a real adventure bike. It's not a cruiser. It's not a street bike. It's not a sport bike. It's just something. But the truth is, it is a very versatile bike. I could I could take this bike off road. I could take this bike on long distance rides on highway. I've got side cases for it. I've got a top case for it. I've got off road tires. This bike is just a good all around bike. It's probably an accident, but man, there's like there was stop traffic back there, and now it's back up to 75 miles per hour, and there's no accident here. Why were we all stopped back there? There's something called phantom trafficking. You should look that one up, that's a fun one. Essentially, if somebody hits their brakes and somebody else isn't paying attention and sees the brake lights, they then hit their brakes and it creates this chain effect of brake lights and then all of a sudden you've got bumper to bumper stop traffic for no reason other than the fact that one person touched their brakes. Let's see, what do we got, what do we got? Let's be a rubbernecker on a motorcycle. We have a stalled vehicle, no accident. <laughs> Maybe they're speeding, maybe an issue with the vehicle, who knows. And yes, I'm aware there are places that have far worse traffic than what we just saw. I have never ridden in Thailand, I have never ridden in India, but I've had people tell me that there's terrible traffic there. So, I'll count my blessings on that one, I guess. I should have taken the freeway, the tollway. This is so frustrating. My screen works, my gloves work on my screen, not a problem. Oh, he wants to go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. My screen works. My fingers are working, but I can't hit the start navigation button, so I'm kind of just having to zoom in on the map. That's so annoying. Again, first world problems, but whatever. I took my gloves off. The button still wouldn't work. I tried voice commands. Wouldn't work. Motobicicletas. What a fantastic day for a ride. <laughs> oh no, man down. He was celebrating revving his engine and just dumped his bike. Threw the rain jacket on, threw the rain pants on. We should be good to go when you ride in the rain. His rain is crummy. Going, bro. Why are we all stopping for gas?
We got all kinds of bikes. We got a chopper down there with a car tire. We got a Ninja 650, 1199 Panigale. A lot of Kawasaki's today, man. That's awesome. ZX10, Ninja 650, ZX6. That's another Z, uh, Ninja 650. I love it. Look at that thing. That's cool. been a big group ride like this in a while. We must have had like 75 bikes. This is just the Houston group. We're rolling up to the Dallas crew. Hopefully we can show out in force. We are going to really piss off some people today, man.
awesome. That group ride was crazy. And it was a lot of fun, but that was crazy. The rain, the wheelies, people losing exhaust, shooting flames, Panigale stalling at stoplights. I'd do it again. <laughs> but now we're heading to Wild West Motoplex to see what kinds of pretty bikes they have. The ZH2 is pretty. These hybrid Kawasaki's are coming out. Pretty cool. They got zeros in here too. Full electric bikes. You got a lot of dirt bikes. All color variations. to leave the dealership without buying a motorcycle today. I sent a couple pictures of bikes to my wife and was like, I can't decide. She's like, I don't really care, but every time you send me a picture, it's a motorcycle thing. So, ha! Ah. She really throw her off someday and just like, send her a picture of flowers or something stupid. <laughs> so I have a request for the viewers of this video today. Help me figure out which bike to buy next. I really don't know. Should I keep the Versus 650? Should I get a Ninja 500 so I can make lots of content for people who don't know how to work on their own motorcycles? Should I get a Z900 and go do hooligan stuff on it and film it and look like an idiot? Or should I get something like the KTM 790 Adventure and go with like a bigger ADV bike and something that will actually take me off road better and allow me to go do some woods camping on motorcycles. I don't know what I want to do. Like those are three totally separate paths and three totally different genres of motorcycling. And I was just talking with a friend about it. He's like, well, what does your heart want? What do you want to do? I'm like, I honestly want to do any of it. I, I want to ride motorcycles. I don't really care. Put me on a bike on two wheels and I'm happy. So that's where I'm stuck is I don't know what to get next. And I've ridden so many bikes. Like I've owned like 60 some odd motorcycles personally and I've test ridden hundreds of motorcycles. So I don't know what I want to have for my personal next bike. Should I let the content dictate it? Or should I just buy something I think is cool and fun? Let me show you a curvy road right here. Ka-chow! I'm turning. Oh wait, it's a chicane. They went from a right turn to a left turn. Are you ready for this? Whee! <laughs> it's so stupid. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining in the ride today. This is my first attempt at like a vlog style video. Let me know if you liked it, because I ride a lot and I've never really filmed my rides like this. And it's honestly a little weird talking to myself. So I hope you found it funny. I hope you found it adventurous. And uh, as I always say in my other videos, stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next ride. Peace.